Okay, hello guys. <clears throat> this is another uh, part in my druid leveling thing. So, I am going to just continue questing. And on my server there are a lot of people. I I used to play on a very low populated server and well there weren't really people running around and now there are a lot. I guess that is a good thing because the auction house is probably going to be a lot more extensive. In my old server, there wasn't a lot on the auction house. Hopefully that has changed. Well, because <coughs> the big a better auction house is always better. Okay, now uh, there's so many quests. No, no. No, no. Man, I wish I had. Oh yeah, <laughs> I could just do this. It's Dorgmar. Okay, now I am ready to get this started. <coughs> Turn that in, and uh, I'm not gonna go to Orgamar yet, but. I will in a bit because this is going to get me to like around nine this place and I'll be like yeah I think it'll be around nine and definitely the uh, gathering of the herbs will help oh yeah actually one more thing I need to go train mining don't want to miss out on any precious ore. And there is probably a mining trainer here. <coughs> okay. Mining will give me a lot of ore that I can sell in the auction house and a lot of good XP. So, definitely want to do that. And, yeah, here we go. And I'm pretty sure I have a pickaxe. Yes, I do. Awesome. Is this better than my weapon? No. I like... I don't really care about damage per second. As a druid, you'd rather have stats. And one stamina is... a lot better than one DPS. I mean, one, uh... Yeah, one more damage per second. Because I don't really use my staff. It's all about the stats that it gives you. For example, this one gives me one stamina, which makes me have more health. Yeah. Man, Prowl really takes a lot of your running speed away. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna put on fine minerals too. Ah, here we go. <laughs> ah, but you, you can't mine in cat form. I guess that would look pretty weird, but still. Okay, so this is a kill quest. Is there anything in there? No. Uh, I remember this one always takes a while. Unfortunately, because they don't spawn very quickly, so it kind of takes a while. But oh well. And eventually I'm going to need to go into that keep over there. Because I have to kill Lieutenant Pelleter. And he's right over there. And also, for the quest exploring the situation, I need to find some treasure. And the treasure is laid out inside of the keep. So, you're going to need to go in there.
Thank God for stealth. It's very useful. It just makes you really slow. And if I remember right, there's a rare in here. Yeah, there used to be a rare in here. I'm not sure if he's here anymore, but uh, you should always kill those. The low level rares always give you like bags and stuff, so they never really give you a lot of gear, just bags, which are very useful in the long run. Yeah, this treasure is, well there's a lot of it, so you're going to definitely get all of them pretty quickly. You only need to get like six. I, um, I already have like four. One more and then I'll be done. And the lieutenant is in here with a guard. So I need to pop a heal. Yeah, it's not too tough. All right. Ooh, that might be better than the one I have right now. And it is. Cool. <coughs> it's gray, but it's better. Okay, I'm done with the treasure and killing the lieutenant. I still need to kill a few more regular dudes. Like this guy. Okay. And as a cat, I have reduced damage from falling. That's only in cat form. You might be able to get a glyph that makes it so you don't have to be cat form to reduce your falling damage, but Quote me on that. We see it barely does any damage. If you weren't cat form, that would do quite a bit. Okay. I need to kill three more sharpshooters, and then I will be done. And then I need to go kill some water elementals. So yeah, a lot of kill quests. Kill quests. And I got bear form too. Bear form is really nice. But I'm going to go on cat form because you get, um, you can run a lot faster. And you can kill things a lot faster. I don't really need survivability right now. Just one more. This guy will do it. Yeah, these videos will be a lot more entertaining when I actually get to level 15. And then uh, I'll just do dungeons every video. And maybe mix in some PvP. And uh, maybe do a little questing. And I can even level, level little characters if you guys want to see me tank or show you a class rotation. I can definitely do that. <coughs> I haven't seen a lot of ore lately. I guess herbs are a lot more common. Maybe because they don't sell for as much. Yeah, this isn't really a regular quest. It is an Easter event, which I'm not really going to do. It gives me experience, but I don't really know how to do it. Noble Garden. I'm not really sure where that actually is. I guess skinning would have been a good choice too. I think skinning might get more money than herbalism. Oh well. <clears throat> My herbalism is already fairly high since I've already gotten several herbs so I'm just gonna keep it 
And like I said, I haven't actually seen the auction house, so I don't really know what things are selling for. Could be that herbs are even more than more, but I doubt it. Yeah, that's the troll flying form. It's pretty cool looking. You know, like a dusk bat. Okay, now I need to do gnomish tools. So, killing elementals and collecting gnomish tools. I'm gonna sell my junk first. If you guys want to see me. <clears throat> on my other server, like, see high level character gameplay. I can definitely do that. My channel's more for, like, introducing people to World of Warcraft. But if you guys want to see some high level content, I can definitely do that. Hmm, Malachite. I might save that for auction house. Okay. And yeah, I don't need to repair. And at level 10, you unlock your uh, talents, so you get to choose what you want to be. Druids are the only class with four talent options. You have Guardian, Feral, uh, Balance and Restoration. Restoration is the healer. Balance is the range to DPS the caster. Um, Feral is the cat form, which I'm in right now. And then you have Guardian, which is the bear form, which is tanking. I think Feral is doing better than... Um, Boonkin right now. Boonkin is, uh, balanced, but I'm not 100% sure. If you guys want to look at, uh, like what classes are doing well right now, there's a very useful site called noxic.com, N-O-X-X-I-C.com, which will definitely help you out. It even shows you, like, what talents to pick and stuff like that. But, right now, World of Craft has a I think it's a fairly good talent system. It, it's more to your play style. It's not like you have to choose this or you're going to not do well. It's more about your your specific play style. Which I think is very good. It used to be that talent systems were very dumbed down. It was just like, no, you have to choose this or your class isn't going to be very good. You're not going to be very effective. They got rid of that, <coughs> thank god, and now we're on to a better class, uh, talent system. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this one. I can go turn that in. But I'm gonna finish this stuff here first. I need to kill a few more of these guys. Like six more. So if you guys wanna uh, see me do more videos with other classes, you can definitely put down what class you want me to do in the comment section. And I will definitely try to upload some videos of that class. I'll probably be Alliance. Do one Alliance and one Horde. Just to make it even. And please don't make it a DPS only spec because I don't want to have to uh, just 
spam quests because it takes forever. Right. Well, questing it's very good XP, but it's uh, also very boring. Um, if you're DPS and you're going to try to do a random, it takes forever to get into an actual dungeon, so I wouldn't do DPS. It just it takes a while to level up if you want to actually have decent fun. Okay, one more, and then I need to get a few more new tools that don't be done over here. Oh, great, there's an all-out war in Dora Tower. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop for now. Um, you can go on to my next video if you would like. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be back with new videos soon.